All right, so how many of you know what functional neurosurgery is, or have heard of functional neurosurgery? Okay, quite a few of you. That's good. When I was sitting in your seats, I probably had never heard of it before. Okay, so um, functional neurosurgery is roughly defined with deep brain stimulation, epilepsy, and pain. Now, depending on what institution you're at, you may have different combinations of this. You may have one person who focuses just on DBS, another person on epilepsy, and somebody on pain. So depending on the dynamics of your institution, it may look a little different. But the common thing across all functional neurosurgeons is research. Almost all functional neurosurgeons want to do some sort of research relating to the function of the brain. So I'm going to give you just a quick um, picture-heavy uh, overview of what neuro um, functional neurosurgery looks like. So we'll start with DBS. So DBS, or deep brain stimulation, is very useful for treating patients like this. So what does this patient have? Does that Park help your tremor? Parkinson's Does have your legs? Right. So this patient has better. Um, tremor, has some dyskinesia, some bradykinesia. Hold your hand and up. And you can see that he's not doing very well. Um, he's, his medications are wearing off, and he is very uncomfortable, and he cannot function like that. Okay. However, right. after a deep brain stimulator implant, okay. he looks like this. All right, can you go ahead and stand up? Oh, my God, that's okay. You can see he's right. night and day. Go ahead and right. sit down again. All right, can you tap your feet? Okay, how about the other side? Okay, good. How do you feel? Good. Feel pretty good? <laughs> yeah. All right, so for this device, in deep brain stimulation, we put electrodes very carefully into different parts of the basal ganglia. It's connected by a wire down to a generator into the chest. Um, the wires are very small. Um, we put them very precisely using stereotactic techniques, which means you use a frame or some sort of image guidance to get it to where you need it to go. Um, we put them in, in this case, the globus pallidus interna, which is very, very tightly packed. And then we place a generator into the chest, which provides the stimulation signals to the brain. We also use DBS for dystonia. So dystonia is an abnormal contracture of different muscle groups. It's more common in kids, but you can have it as a feature of Parkinson's or essential tremor as well. And this is a 10-year-old child that I took to 